seahorse project. So we are gonna do, I'm gonna, we're gonna draw two seahorses. I'm holding my paper horizontally. I'm actually doing it on a canvas, but you could do it on a paper or anything because we are gonna use oil paste, uh, pastels or you could use crayons to color in the cray paw and then we could do use watercolor or any kind of paints that you have for the background. So we're gonna draw um, the seahorse two times. So we're gonna have two seahorses. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with its head, which is gonna be a circle. And when you're drawing, you should draw pretty lightly. So if you make a mistake, you could erase. Then from the head, we're gonna draw our body. So you're going to make a line going down but it's gonna be, it's gonna curve outward. And then towards the end, you're gonna make a little swirly. I'll leave your pencil at the end of that swirly because you're gonna come back up, make his tail, and make the back side of his body that ends at the side of his head. So once you have that in his body, you can make a line down his body, just like that. So we have the front part of his body and the back part. Now let's make our little side wing. So I'm gonna put two lines coming out of the back of the body, one going up, one going down. Connect it with a squiggly line. Then we are gonna make his squiggles, his like squiggles that come out from his body. Ready, so we start at the head. And we're gonna make a squiggly line that connects to our side fin. And then from the side fin, we're gonna skip over the side fin and then just do a little squigglies on the back. So there we have the basic body. Now we'll move on to his nose and his mouth, which is almost like it's a snout almost. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna just make three lines coming out. That's gonna be his, his mouth. And what you could do is you're just going to connect the top and bottom line with a little backward C. And then you could erase that line. And if you wanna smooth out where the nose and the head meet, go for it. Then the last thing I wanna do for this, well, we have two more things. We're gonna give them an eye. So the eye is just gonna be a circle, then another circle inside, and then a little tiny circle. And then one last thing, we're gonna add a little detail to the body. So now the front portion of his body, I'm just gonna put a line. I'm going all the way down into my tail. And then I'm just going to make little lines going across. All right, so we have one seahorse down. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a seahorse going in the opposite direction. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my head, which is going to be a circle. I'm gonna make this one slightly smaller. Then I'm gonna move on to his body. I'm gonna start at the middle, the bottom of his head, and I'm gonna make a line, and then I'm gonna make a line going towards, and then make a swirly-whirly for the tail. The end of that swirly-whirly, start going the opposite way. And you're gonna connect it to the side of the head. Then what we could do is we can make that line going straight down. We can make our back or our side fin. One, two lines going out, connect it with a squiggle. Then we're gonna make his squiggly. Then what we could do is we could add the little detail in the body. nose and mouth, connect it with a backward C, erase those lines. If you want it to smooth out that where the nose meets the head, go for it. And then add an eye. So a circle, and then a circle, and then a little circle. So then we have two little Two horses. All right, so at this point, what we could do is I'm actually gonna use Craypaws to color my little guys. Just because I wanna add lots of color and it's fun 
to add the cray pods. You can make like blend colors and all that stuff. So I'm gonna add some color to my cray pods. I think I'm gonna add pinks, orange, a little yellow, and we'll see what we come out with at the end. So I did my seahorses with the oil pastels and now what I think I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna add some blues and probably a little green in the background let that dry and then I'll add with cray paws maybe some coral on the bottom because we are doing coral reef so previously in previous weeks we did a wet on wet technique for um, the smile project but today we're actually just going to just do plain watercolor because this is canvas, I'm not gonna get like a super dark color. So I'm just gonna use pure watercolor. And the canvas takes a little while to absorb things, but eventually it'll absorb some of the color. So I'm gonna use some blue, and then I'll add some green somewhere too. And the watercolor, what's great about using watercolor with oil pastels is the watercolor leaves the pastels alone. It won't disturb the pastels. If you use acrylic, the acrylic could co sometimes cover the pastels, but you'll just have to be super careful going around those seahorses. So I'm gonna spend some time going around these guys first. And then I feel if I get a lot of paint, I just take some water and take and spread it out a little bit. That'll give us variation, so it's like dark in some spaces, light in the other, which is more natural than just having one solid color. So because you could see that because this is canvas, it's like pooling in some places, but I actually like that look for this project. So what I'm just going to start doing, you could absorb some if you have piles of stuff. I'm going to put a little green towards my body.
since this is, I'm gonna let this dry and then we'll come back with more some more crepas and add some little details. All right, so I'm back with my seahorses and I'm just gonna add some details. So I'm just using crayons or you could use crepas because I use crepas for the, and I'm just gonna add some bubbles. And then I am with some red. I'm gonna, I started doing it over here. I'm gonna add some coral. To make coral, it's almost like a tree. So I have my trunk and then I have my some branches. And I'm just making Ys coming off the branches. So it looks like coral. Some a little over here too. Gonna make this one a little fuller. So there I have my little seahorses that are going around my coral. So just to recap, I did crepas on the seahorses, then I did watercolor in the background, but you could really do anything that you want. You could even paint the seahorses. Um, and then I just used crayons to do a little crepa. All right, I hope you like the seahorses. Bye guys.